Ronnie, given the, the dominance <coughs> and the number of chances, is that one of the most surprising score lines of the season? It was only 1-0. Uh, the, the, the first 20 minutes was uh, high level, uh, it was quality in, in my opinion, it was uh, how we want to see uh, see Celtic, it's a high pressing team, um, win the ball in a very good situation, go straight forward, attacking and created a lot of chances and we scored 1-0 as well, but we should have 3 or 4 uh, in the first 20 minutes. So. This one, I'm, I'm happy with that, and I'm also happy that we, we create a lot of chances. But of course, we we need to be more, much more effective than we have been now the two last games because uh, we will get punished in the end if we if we don't don't do it. Yeah, is that one thing as a manager? It's, it's pleasing that they're creating the chance. If you weren't, if the team wasn't creating the chances, that would be more concerning. Well, much more, of course. So, um, well, I think John was he was very uh, disappointed today. Uh, he had a lot of chances, and uh, but as I said to him, it's, it's positive that he gets the chances, and uh, he showed a good attitude today, today as well. And it will come. It's about uh, getting confidence and getting the flow back again. But even the one that he, he scored with the spectacular overhead kick, it was it was flagged for offside. It, it was doubtful that he was offside. Do you yeah. think he would have taken it as an overhead kick if he he'd been onside? Uh, you can ask him, but he, he showed that he's capable to do it, so um, I, uh, I think he finished to, to score a goal. Yeah. yeah, and as you say, he's got the confidence and he's getting into the positions and, and the goals will, will come again because they've been coming already this season. Yeah, he scored a lot of goals, but uh, to be a Celtic striker, you need to score every game. And uh, that's, uh, he knows the demands and he demands it himself as well. I think uh, his demands is maybe higher than the, the coaches has. So, um, he was disappointed, but um, he will come back. And defensively, another clean sheet, which is obviously the basis in which to win any game. That must be pleasing as well, that the, the, the team at the back are, are performing so well. I think we will defend uh, well uh, now the last uh, game games. And, but I enjoy most when we're defending as a team, like we did the first the first 20 minutes. Because then it's not one thing is to get clean sheet, but when you win balls in good situation as well, so we can go straight in attack, it's, it's much better. So that, that we did in the first 20. But when we get um, get people uh, like get the team over us, we, we defend well. We are goal, good goalkeeper and, and a good defense as well. So I'm happy for for another clean sheet. And I think you got the feeling if we got that second goal when Motherwell went down to 10 men, we'd have been fine. But it was just an anxious last few minutes when Motherwell, I suppose, had nothing to lose and were just throwing men forward. Yeah, that's uh, always a risk that when you when you don't score your goals, they will get that one chance. Yeah. I'm happy that he, he did miss that chance and um, and uh, we have to learn from this. It's, uh, it's a sign that we, if we don't do something with it, it will, will the day will come that we'll get punished. Yeah, and Charlie McGrew missed out this afternoon. Neil Beaton came in again this afternoon. Had another good game alongside Scott Brown, who seemed to cover every blade of grass this afternoon. Yeah, and Charles and I, um, um, Brown needs to get better and better. And, uh, and Neil also now. Much more aggression in his play, uh, much more sprinting. And uh, he just had to keep on, then we're going to have a very good player here. I suppose it's a sign of Scott Brown's maturity that he was booted quite harshly in the first half. but. Still had that discipline throughout the game that he didn't really get involved in any rash tackles or anything to mm. maybe give the referee an option or a second yellow. No, I mean, he's, um, he's he's playing uh, on the on the line. Can I say that? You know, always on the up, edge, uh, on the edge yeah. yeah, all the time, and um, and he knows when it's over and, uh, and under, and uh, he keeps himself uh, in in balance and uh, and control the game and the team very well. Yeah, another pleasing aspect today, James Forrest, 80 minutes this afternoon and, and looks so dangerous down that right flank. Motherwell really struggled with his pace and his trick at times. Yeah, especially in the second half. Um, and now good, we have keep on with a little bit of consistency now. We just have to keep on working with, keep me injury free, get in training, show him pictures because he's it's, it's 50% of what he can uh, have up. He has so much uh, possibilities, so it's about consistency and train, good training, quality. That must be quite exciting then, as a, as a manager. When you're saying you're, you're only seeing half the, you know, the, the potential of James Forrest. Yeah, the last four years we've been out. Uh, was it 550 days? And so of course, there's going to be hard to get out his potential. We need to have consistency, and we need to get the right treatment for him and uh, and the right training. And and we have to protect him against too much games, you know, in the beginning. But if we can uh, start building. The potential is on is very 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 high. How, how do you approach Thursday's game now against Dynamo Zagreb? Obviously, we, we don't have the pressure of needing any points to go through. And is it a game you can go and, and perhaps change the team, or, or just relax and enjoy in a way a European trip is another experience? 
you always have to go to win games, and uh, we're gonna do this as well. It's important to so we we get points into the ranking in in Europe. It's important, and um, also to have good uh, experiences so we can get confidence out of things. So I will not change uh, very much, but uh, some of course uh, about injury, especially and uh, and uh, booking, but. Um, then we have some some players who can get a, uh, a chance. And then we'll get some more next weekend. Seven league wins in a row now, which is a, a fairly impressive run. It's a good level of consistency for the team. It is. So uh, we just have to keep on. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be exciting uh, days now uh, into Christmas. We we are in good uh, momentum. We we want to keep on. Yeah. Is that good for you? Then you've, you've, you're saying the team set the benchmark, and you're just pushing them and saying, right, well we've won this one. That's going. Let's go on to the next one. That's a good feeling, and uh, if you're going to learn and develop, it's much easier to do that with, by winning than uh, by losing. So we uh, have to take the positive things with us now. And um, again, it's important to thank the fans uh, today. It's, it's unbelievable to go uh, get away and away games, and you have that support. It's um, really helping the team when you second half is going out to get a goal, and you just like playing uh, home on Celtic Park. It's uh, it's a good feeling.